What's up? All right, we are coming to you from Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> I'm Nalia Nilsson. McKenna Sigmiller. Kim Nilsson. And we have all been in the company for about, what, two years? A little, oh, I've been yeah. two and a half years. Yeah, about two years. Yeah, around two years. So we are out here right now at a big cowboy Christmas show in Vegas. And you guys, vendor shows are so much fun. Um, we wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit about our booth. Well, they can be fun. They're a lot of work. I know. I'm getting little smirks. <laughs> our feet hurt. Plan on not really lunch, bad. Yeah. Being on your feet. I don't have a voice. But it's fun because they're busy and you sell a lot. And it's good. It's a great way to go and unload stock, get new customers, new mm -hmm. potentials. And so we kind of want to just show you a little bit around our booth, what we did, and kind of what things work at these shows because we've done some. We've done some where we've brought way too much crap. Right, Kim? Yeah. So much crap. <laughs> Lots of crap. We did a rodeo days of 47 one time in Utah and we brought so much stuff. And so we have simplified this year and we kind of feel like we have it down to a science. Yeah. Yay. So we're going to show you around right now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to flip this camera around here. Okay. So here is our booth and we will kind of walk you through the booth and just talk Hello. about what we have done, like things that have worked really well. Like, Got people coming right and kicking now. us out <laughs> because oh, the show just ended, so we got to get out of here fast. But right. anyway, hey, so what'd you say? I said it's the best booth in Vegas right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah cowgirl kisses. Exactly. Cow <laughs> and how much better can it get than cowgirl kisses? <laughs> it just doesn't. That's right. Nice. All right. So here's what our booth looks like. We have simplified this year to what really works. So as you can see, like it's really clean. I think you try to make it as less busy as you possibly can. Yeah. So Even this, we were kind of like stumbling over it. <laughs> the sign. Crazy. Yeah. So we have a black tablecloth, a long table. Some people like to invite people into their booths. We like to come to the people because you have a little bit more control over your stock, people not popping testers, you know, and just, it, for us, this works better because it keeps it a little bit more organized. So we, of course, have our big sign up on the wall. You have to have something that says Lip Sense. <clears throat> and this is our table. We have a picture of the shadows. So when people come up, we are certain to not just talk to them about the lipsticks, but right away we say, hey, you know, have you heard of this product that, you know, makeup that stays on all day? That way you're not just limiting yourself to just lipsticks right from the start. So we have, you know, just a couple colors of our charts along with all of our testers of shadows sitting right there. We've got a mirror where they can apply. We've got a really nice big chart so that they can start, you know, picking colors. Of course, we have our testers with stickers and labels on them so that we know that they're testers. Be sure and get some duct tape or something um, for that. We keep our stock completely away from the table so that people don't accidentally pop, pop it. Top. Yeah, pop oh, the top. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got our mirrors and then, you know, specialty things like the collections. So that is what that looks like. This year we bought this booth. Well, I guess it's kind of a setup, this backdrop that has been really nice. It's super easy to set up, super easy to take down. Kim, it was what, right, right around $300 or something? Um, but it really, I think, just made the booth look really it's for clean. It's by 10. Yep, it's by a temp, for a 10 by 10 booth. Came with the lights. Yep, came with those two lights and up there. And a roller. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a roller so you can just wheel it in and out of the show very easily. We had these lips printed and we just have Velcro on the back of them. This booth, literally you can just Velcro the colors on and off. So if you are out of a color, just pull it and people don't even know that you have it. Um, we had a TV brought in and we've just kind of been looping different videos that show the staying power of lip sense. So people walking by will be able to see it on. And then you guys, this is so exciting. Kim came up with a great idea. It's so hard to know how to keep your stock at booths because especially if it gets crazy, it's hard to know where it's at. You know, you're pulling from all different places. So <laughs> we hung this on our booth this year and we just have it all alphabetized. So if somebody comes, it's so simple just to like reach in, grab the color. And then over here, we put together these sacks ahead of time that have you know the tips and tricks card in it along with the gloss and the oops remover. So all we have to do is grab the sack, come to the wall, pick their color, and we are good to go. So 
it's very good to be organized because otherwise it's like complete chaos if it starts to get busy and you don't know what the hell else to do. So, yep. McKenna, show them how we test. So when somebody comes up, we mm -hmm. always want to get product on their face because as we know, we wow people by showing them the product on our hand when they walk up. We like have been wiping our lips all over our smocks, which we decided to get smocks for this event. Turn around, show them how cute. <laughs> We got smocks for this event so that not only can we sell really great when we're in the booth, but as we're walking around, if it's a slow time, we can walk around and like show people the lipstick, start wowing people in the in the aisle ways with our hands. But the goal is to get the stuff on them. I cannot tell you how many times people come to the booth and they are not committed. They have no idea what it is. But the second, what what do we say? Like, what's our what's kind of our uh, role? Like, what do we okay. say? When they come up to the booth, like, hey, have you heard of Lip Sense before? You know, the lipstick that stays on for four to 18 hours, and they either have, and you can usually tell the people that have because they like come determined, ready to like give you the list of they what try. they want. Yes. Um, but if they haven't, then we say, okay, you know what? What colors do you typically like to wear? Sometimes um, we ask them, you know, do you have a color with you that you wear all the time? If they do, we have them kind of swipe it on their hand. And then I usually say, yeah, let's, you know, what, what colors do you, if they don't have a color, then we'll say, what colors do you tend to um, lean towards? More of like the pinks, the browns, the berries. Um, and then when they, you know, reply to that, we usually say, okay, are you more of like a bold or more of like a neutral? And then we kind of go from there. So it seems if you can engage them in conversation, if they come up and they're hesitant at all, and the first question you say is like, okay, what colors do you normally like? Pinks, like, browns? Yeah, then they're like, oh, well, typically browns, and then they're in. Mm -hmm. Like they're in your space, you pull them up, you start swiping colors on the hand. Yeah, um, I would so seriously say at least 50% of the people too, when they're like, I don't know, you tell me. And then they just want you to tell them. They want you to color match them and say, you know, I think this would look really pretty on you. And to hear that like positive mm -hmm. reinforcement of what looks good on them mm -hmm. and to show them on their hand and why and like talk about the warms and the cools and why you think that would be a good choice for them. They're really receptive when you know what you're talking about. Yeah, and when you take the time to show them that it's important, you're not just gonna grab a lipstick and like give it to them, but you're actually gonna, yeah, show them what looks best, best on them. And we've had some really cool success that I wanted to share with you guys while we've been here. So there have been people that have come up and we all know like you can never judge people based off of when they come to the table. There's some people that you're like, oh my gosh, like they're for sure gonna buy and buy a lot. And there's some that, you know, you kind of think, okay, like are they gonna be able to afford it? How much am I gonna be able to push them, this and that. Don't ever do that. We have had a couple of people that have come oh. that literally, like there was a mom that came today who came up, has not really taken a lot of time for herself to like be, you know, she's been a mom and all of that. And people really need that attention. We've had two or three or four cells that have all been like $350 or above because they've come up to us. We made it not intimidating. We've said, hey, just, you know, let's look at your color and come sit down on this chair. <laughs> so we've literally sat them on the chair. We've Little given chair. them this mirror, sat them right here. So again, we're not like taking away from other customers that are coming. And we literally do mini makeovers over here. And the whole time that they're there, we're giving feedback like mm -hmm. from each other. So when she's like putting a color on, then I'll just be like, oh my gosh, that color looks so pretty on you because it does, like they look beautiful. And just like hearing people like tell them how beautiful they look. I mean, it's the, it's the coolest thing to like give them a mirror and have them like see themselves for the first time with like this makeup on and they're just like instantly sold. Like it's one of my favorite things too, like the sweetest thing. It is the sweetest mm -hmm. thing. Like they, they come out of their shell, but one of my favorite things too and establishing that rapport with them is like when you swipe their arm and if there's some that you're like, you know what, I don't like that one as much as I do this one or I don't like hearing truth. Like you, not everything has to be perfect and oh, that's beautiful. If it really isn't, it's not. And like be honest with them. And I think I think people are really receptive they want to that. Feedback. They want they don't to know. Want to walk out of here with a crazy color that's yeah. like and they're not gonna wear it yep. if they if they don't. Yeah. So they come to the counter, you're like, hey, browns, blues, yep. purples, whatever it is. Okay, once you establish a color hand. and we figure out kind of what they want to try, then this is what we do. We got these cool little like ring cups. They're actually like I think tattoo type ring cups. You got those on Amazon? Uh-huh. Amazon. Okay. Super cheap. Okay. I always I always say, okay, are you right-handed, left-handed? If they're right-handed, I say, okay. So I put this little ring cup on their little finger. Um the opposite side. Oh, let me show you more. 
Okay. So right she's right-handed, so I'm going to put this on her left hand, okay? And then I'm going to get the applicator wand and I'm going to scrape product into the cup, okay? So this keeps everything sanitary. Put that on and then I get the new applicator and I'm going to dip that directly into the lipsticks. Get like a good amount on just to so start with. Their first application. Their first step, yep. So that way they can go ahead and apply this to their lips and then if they need any more, they can dip it back into the cup and that you're not, you know, infecting your test. Awesome. Yep, and then you can just, you know, if they need more, you can always just add more. Um, it just makes it really easy for them to apply using this little disposable applicators. We actually got these from Amazon. Um, and then the little weight cups. Cool. So, so the other thing, if you don't have those applicators, one thing that Kim and I did at a show that worked really good is we got our blending palette from the back office. We just cut the blending palette up into little squares. And so when they find a color that they like, let me see you kind of that cluster, or pull that stick out, then you can just go ahead and pick the color and you can just press it. Just press the color onto the paper, okay? So you're getting a good amount of color on the paper. And then you can give them a lipstick applicator, give them this, they can go ahead, apply it, and then you can just throw this paper away. So that was kind of a game changer for me because it was always hard. Like some people use plates and different things. Just do something that's disposable that they can throw away. And that way, you know, when they go to do the second coat, you can press more of the color on. So then they have the three coats. And then of course you are going to send them away with, where's our glossy gloss packets? Uh, I hope you guys didn't run out. The little glossy gloss packets in the back office. Um, you can squeeze some of that out there. They can put it on and they are out the door. Okay, another tip that I wanted to share with you guys that had been really cool. So sometimes it's hard to figure out how, like you have their information on Square, you've taken their different forms of payment, but sometimes it's hard to like, get them to get on your page or how do you get their information. I have found that not a lot of people like to fill out their information cards, like their address, their phone number, their name, all that kind of stuff. It takes a lot of time and sometimes when you're really busy, it's hard to do that. So one thing that we've done that has been really successful and really fun is bringing a ring light. So we'll bring this ring light and we'll plug it in. And once we are done doing their makeup, even if it's just the lip color, we will have them come over and we will take a picture with our phone through the ring light and ask if we can send it to them. So we take a picture and then right away I'm like, hey, do you have Facebook or Instagram? And they're like, yes. And so I say, I'm going to send you over this picture. And they feel beautiful. I do it in portrait mode. They have this gorgeous light on them. And so I send that picture over to them. And right away we're already connected on Facebook because I have their information. I'll add them as a friend right then. I'll ask them to join the page. I've never ever had anybody tell me that they did not want to join my page, especially taking that extra step with them, making them feel pretty, giving them a cute picture that they could use as their profile picture where they're feeling you know, really beautiful. Um, again, it's just kind of building that relationship and that rapport. And again, you already have them in your system. You don't have to worry about going through all of your you know, index cards or whatever to try to like, input them and hopefully they join your page or accept it's just like automatic you're good to go so ring light has been a game changer as far as keeping contact with the customers and making them feel special all right ladies think of anything else here's my beautiful mom she came out here to help us she broke her foot a couple of days ago i love her yes but really just that validation of having people around that's like hey oh my gosh that's so pretty on you and like being genuine you know it really works too? yeah um all three of us wore, like I wore a light color today. Um, Nalia wore one that was kind of neutral or, well, a little bit brighter, but colors that we needed to push and that we wanted to send through. And then McKenna wore a really dark color. So if you're with other people, kind of wear ones that you want to spotlight because they want to see it on you too. Yep, that is a really good and obviously wear colors that you have a lot of stock in that you want to push like I have roseberry on today I normally don't wear it but we've got a crap load of roseberry we got to sell so you just wear whatever colors you got to wear to like you know get I, the sell. At least, at least half a dozen people were like oh well what are you wearing and then would would get, would get that so that's that's always been nice. Yeah. Yeah. And don't well, like don't sit in a chair behind your booth and oh, not gosh, engage. That's a, that's that's make so sure perfect. that you're up and like engaging people as they walk by. Yeah, guys, sometimes they're too intimidated to come to the table. Like it's like 
it's intimidating I think when yeah. there's like three ladies behind a table and you like don't want to be that customer to walk up but it never fails the first time a customer comes up then you're gonna get like five more customers that come up because mm -hmm. every someone else is there time every so. time so true. Engage. And if you see someone kind of standing back eyeing it, be like hey come over try a color um, you know you can put it on see what see what you think and it just kind of gets that interaction it gets them like comfortable to come to your table so today, guys, we actually got in trouble. The people at Cowboy Christmas came over and told us that we were not allowed to come out in the hall, that they needed us behind our table because we had so many people that were out front trying on colors. And of course, we walked from behind our table to come to the front so that we can show the stripes and like you're really involved and you're in their space and you're interactive with them. Like if you just stand behind table like it just feels a little bit more stuffy it feels like not as approachable so if you can really go out and like touch them and just you know apply the product you're gonna really build some don't good don't touch them don't, don't touch I mean don't, don't touch them like <laughs> you stop it you guys are don't perverts touch them. don't touch them <laughs> oh my gosh all right we have been Engage here a long time <laughs> engaged I have no our voice. feet hurt yeah Kim's got no voice so we are going Six to go left. cruise um Actually, we're not going down to we're the street because it's too Count busy. We're going to go stock and then probably go to bed at midnight and have Burger King <laughs> to eat. That's the real reality of working a busy show. You don't have time to eat. And I'm not going to Burger King. Yeah, no Burger we're King. In we're, in King. we're not doing Burger King. All right, I think we're good. Oh, one other thing I... <laughs> One other thing I wanted to tell you is we put everything in the square. So we did this show last year and we put starter kits down just as like a basic starter kit set. And this year when we went to like remember what inventory we had, it was so dumb. So this year we put Bella starter kit, Crimson starter kit, Fly Girl starter kit. Have everything inventoried perfectly on here so that you know exactly what was sold what you know rather than just putting it in square and typing in the amount every time it's it's worth taking that extra effort to to put that in there so and i have to say oh my gosh you guys mascara upsell. our eyeshadows the easiest up show up upsell. i can't talk upsell <laughs> we probably sold like 10 mascaras today. Yeah, it was so easy. You tell them that lash serum is in our mascara we and we're left. having a challenge. You guys have one left. Yeah, we have oh. one left for the next week. Yeah. So That's that was good. bad on our part. We didn't bring like more back. Our shadows, we have like blown through our eyeshadows. Like yep. people are loving the eyeshadows. Yep. So every single person, when you sell a lipstick, then hey, have you seen our shadows? Just, you know, just put a couple little dabs on you. Let them see it. Like, oh my gosh, they speak for themselves. So you plant the them. seed. That's yep. it. If somebody's waiting for someone else who's trying on a color, like all day long, we're like, hey, come sit in the booth. Are you going out tonight? Like, let me just put a little bit of shadow on you. Eight out of 10 people have bought every single shadow that I've put on their face, including the mascara, because once you have that captive audience, like they're yours and they trust you and they know that you care about them. And again, you're willing to take the time to invest in them. And I promise the payoff is huge. So put yourself out there. If it's slow at any of your events, like, I don't know, get one of these little jackets and go walking around with your bag full of goodies and just start wowing people because literally it is so easy to sell this product. Like women love it, they want it, and it's all about the presentation and just how much you guys are wanting to sell because women all over the world are buying makeup every single day and if you are not the one pushing it, whether it's from a show, whether from your house, whether from the internet, whether in person, like you are missing out big time. There's no reason at all why you're not selling. And so. Like Seriously. Kick some butt, ladies. Just the people that told on us for having all these people around our booth are um, not necessarily a competition, but somebody that was watching and jealous because we had like people flocking to our table for lip scents and they were selling something else that was beauty related and they didn't have anybody. So, yeah, people want what we have. Like, we have like the best product. So, yeah, Alright, let us know if you guys have any questions. We are in Vegas for another week and we yeah. can uh, help you out with anything you can think of. Bye. Have a great night.